Good morning everyone, today I will explain to you how to do Ryotto's uh, Dance Brazilian as a physical model. First I will start with explaining the materials that we need. First of all, we have a polystyrene base. The dimensions are 30 centimeters to 30 centimeters and its thickness has to be 2 centimeters. This one I have is a little bit smaller but if you can find that it's thicker for the support, it can be better. I drew on it two circles with different diameters. The circle inside has 6.5 centimeters and the bigger circle outside has 8.5 centimeters. I marked the location where I'm going to put the wooden sticks after. I divided it to um, six segments equally. After the polystyrene base, we will need some wooden sticks that are six pieces made by 10 centimeters and six pieces made by six centimeters. And after this, we will need some pins like this. We will also need a sewing thread. We will need some weights. You can use something similar, circular, made by steel. We have our scissors. We have a pencil. And we also have some woman, woman's socks. And I will also show you it's this one. It's better if it's XX large because then it can stretch in a better way. We have the glue. Uh -huh. It shouldn't be super glue like attack. It should be something more soft. We have a cutter like this. We have small that we need. For now the materials are like this. Now I will start to do the physical model. Okay now first step I will start by putting my wooden sticks that I have in 10 centimeters six pieces. When I attach them to my base I put them a little bit inclined to outside. Show you. Okay. After attaching the sticks of ten centimeters, I will attach five, six centimeters wooden sticks to the outer circle. Okay. Now I will attach the sticks I have oh, that are six centimeters long. To the outer circle okay. so for now this is the shape we have before attaching the woman socks the lycra to the poles okay now to attach I will use the help of my friend to stretch it from four sizes for size. <laughs> Just make sure that all of the sides You can stretch the fabric individually to different sides. The important thing is that this part has to be stretched. So the fabric should be stretched to all of the poles. Okay, after attaching our lycra to the poles that we positioned, I will start to use the glue. 
and I will create a boundary following these parts. For example, I will create my boundary like this to cover both the short poles and both for the long. Okay, at this point we have to wait for a couple of minutes for our glue to dry and then after we will start cutting the excess parts of the fabric. Okay, after the glue dries, this is how our shape looks like. Now I will start to cut with a small scissors the excess, the excess parts of the fabric. following the border that I did with the glue and this is our final shape after cutting okay after cutting the excess fabric following the borders that I did with the glue this is the shape I take my sewing thread and I'm going to attach it to the smaller poles taking the fabric and after I will take the outer poles out. So I attach my string to each of the poles out and now to these strings that I just put I will start to attach these circular needles to create a suspension. Okay after putting the string I will start to attach the weight to my strings and for each weight I attached I will take the pole out okay so it's going to look like this my weight the weight we just attached is starting to pull off our fabric even though we don't have a pole there anymore So we attached the weight and now instead of the poles, the sides are pulled by the weight as you can see the rings. Okay, so this is the final shape of the pavilion. I have an update. I had to fix my weight to the polystyrene base because of the fact that the pieces I have in metal are not so heavy enough so they cannot pull the fabric themselves so I had to stretch it a little bit more with the pins but 
um, if you cannot find any weight or something you can also use directly some pins connected to the string to pull the fabric but in reality they are made um, using some weight so now the final shape looks like this and you can see that these parts are movable they can rotate so the thing i will do now in order to open a hole on top of our pavilion i put a bottle cap then i am going to mark it with the glue around and i will take the circular piece out. After the glue dries, I will show you how it looks like. There's the glue. After the glue dries, I'm going to cut it and open a circular shape on top. Okay, now with the small scissors I had, I'm cutting the border. circular opening we have on top of our pavilion and this is the final shape of the pavilion with the weight and with the longer pole I will take the longer poles from the foundation and I'm going to move them slightly inside because in reality they are not attached to the ground they stand free so i take them and i put them slightly inside okay our pavilion is done so this is how it looks in the final step thank you for watching